the fat guy. To counter this hump of walking grease, make sure to pick someone like Aatrox who can jump in and out as well as heal all the damage attempts from Graggy, or Jax who can jump out of his barrels and completely screw up his ultimate, and Lee Sin who is also great at invading and disrupting his barrel and ultimate plans, Rengar for his burst and jumps, Kha'Zix for again having a great leaping ability, and Cho'Gath because he'll become an unstoppable killing machine are other viable counters. Garcus's passive makes him heal 6% of his max HP whenever he uses an ability, but it has an 8 second cooldown. His Q throws a barrel that stays put at a target location for 4 seconds and then explodes dealing magic damage as well as slowing people. His W makes him take reduced damage for 2.5 seconds and makes him channel for 1 second before making his next auto attack deal extra magic damage. His E is called Body Slam and makes him dash forward and through walls but stops at the first enemy hit, be it monster, minion or champion. His ultimate makes him throw a huge cask in a location that knocks every enemy away from the epicenter of the throw. If there's one thing you must be careful about in the laning phase when getting ganked by this monstrosity is that most of them seem to be like they're in a harmless distance away, but can flash you your face and you won't be expecting the knockup. Like almost every single other jungler, Gragas will take smite and flash, and definitely needs the flash over every other spell in the game. You probably will be taking the same if you're playing jungle versus him. Gragas has a very interesting level 2 power spike, which could potentially allow him to invade, but it'll completely depend on whether you're playing an early or late game jungler. In fact, you might be the one wanting to invade him, since he's not really the best early game jungler. Most Gragas nowadays are building full tank with Cinderhulk, making him- most Gragas nowadays days are building full tank, with Cinderhulk making him deal a lot of damage because of his insane stickiness. He also has quite the healing abilities, so as always, so as always, building a Morello if you're a mage or an Executioner's Blade if you're AD could really help out with your trades a lot. Thank you for tuning in, good luck in your match and remember, think before chasing him because of his low cooldown on his dash, avoid getting hit by his cast and try to predict where he'll throw it, and don't be clumped up in teamfights whenever he's around to ult because it'll completely disrupt your teamfight. Ultimately, have fun doing it.